Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So welcome back to our weekly podcast. My name is Muhammad Ali Afif Putra Kailani from Design Major, and we are from and I have two special guests from our speaker now. Uh, these two, can you introduce yourself? Okay. Uh, hello everyone. My name is Shafiq Katoila. I am from Software Engineering Major. And my name is Elitia Hazim. I'm from Network in, uh, Network Engineer Major. And our topic for our podcast is overcoming stress and academic pressure. So, what do you think about uh, academic pressure in your previous school is in here, right? Yeah. So, is there any pressure in this school? So, I think it's the time for finishing the project. Oh, project. Because if we like this, they give us the time for finishing the project. When I was at what junior high school, yeah. uh, the teacher gave it, giving us to finish the project only one week, and so we cannot think how to finish it. So that's we get confused and then yes, pressure yeah, from yeah. How, how about you? how about how about you? Shabby? For me personally, about academic pressure uh, in IDN. It's true, deadlines can be a big problem for us uh, as students and sometimes uh, when things are, when the teacher is finding things that are uh, very clear, sometimes it makes it hard for us to uh, make the project so we don't know where to start and other things. Uh, everyone feels that maybe. So, and the next is, how do you, how do you, fight that pressure like maybe you do something to forget the pressure or anything yeah. maybe for me uh, at the first at the first day I, I just uh, being serious to finish the project and after that at the middle at the middle of the weeks uh, maybe I, I didn't do the project maybe I just playing others like social media or others to get refreshing oh, yeah. again so that my brand can be clear again to so thinking how to finish it and at the last day i can finish it my project and then submitting to the form uh, how about you uh, for me i usually start uh, by maybe looking for inspiration at the start and when i know what i'm gonna do i will start doing it slowly then maybe do uh, give a little bit of progress every single day and then just keep it slowly and try not to stress it up too much and uh, try to do my best and use the my time as effective as I can. Oh, so um, use your time and after that uh, is there any effect on your mental health from, uh, until now? Um, so from something. Uh, mental health, uh, personally, uh, it's on how you to take the take it, take it. You know, it's just about how you face it. It's different on a lot of people. For me personally, I sometimes like feel stressed and don't know what to do, confused. So sometimes it, I just simply cannot do it but I tried to slowly but surely fix my uh, fix myself try to get to my main objective again and then start to do it again how about you it's same with almost same with traffic it's just depend on you if you if you are really serious to the project it will be so easy to do but for me because of uh, I didn't really but Terbiasa. Terbiasa. Uh, terbiasa. I didn't usually to finish a project at the time, so yeah, sometimes I feel so dizzy and confused how to finish it. But if already finishing the project, it's really happy because of that. So the progress and also the result is make them uh, make you both uh, happy. Yes. So about uh but the overcome pressing overcome and also academic pressing uh, pressure 
So, is there any tips for any other student for fighting this academic pressure? Uh, for me, uh, I usually in class when I'm stressed, I like to uh, stand up and walk around the class. Oh. Maybe look at what others are doing. Maybe it can help me with my project, help me find some more inspiration. Or maybe I just uh, maybe take some time off the project and maybe open social media. Just simply to take the stress off, you know. Yes. And how about you? Maybe uh, for me, uh, because I'm a um, network engineer, so there is no how to find the inspiration. So maybe if I'm really confused how to finish in my project, like if I'm confused to make how to make the cable and others. So I only ask to the teacher or maybe ask to my friend. So the point is never afraid or never shy to ask your friend because what? Because your friend always, there will be your friend, uh, there will be your friend to help you to finish the project. And also almost like the shop, almost like shopping, uh, you can also do scrolling in social media only for a while, not make uh, not long time for the scroll. Only for uh, refreshing your brand, and after you already get calm and can see it clear. So you guys need to do again your project. So uh, do you would know about Pomodoro? Yes. So it affects more yeah, for our for our academic research. So. It's maybe I would, I would like to ask Shafiq first. Is time affect your academic pressure? Like uh, maybe offer offer time with your project. Of yeah, I mean overdoing it. Oh wait. Yeah, overdoing overdoing your project. Maybe uh, putting too much pressure on yourself can be very bad because that uh, that happened uh, like maybe once or twice to me before. Uh, I worked too hard on my project and eventually I was late on finishing it because of it. So try just to manage your time, take your time on doing a project, don't put too much, put too much pressure on yourself uh, and just do it slowly uh, just as just based on your self capability. Yeah, how was it? Yeah, <clears throat> for me pressure is really bad because sometimes if I really make a pressure to do project, sometimes I get sick, like get flu or get dizzy or get uh, fever because of the pressure of the project. But it's also real because it can, because of the pressure, it can attack to your mental health or maybe to your brain. Mm -hmm. So you guys think that the project is the enemy, so I need to fight with them, but you guys cannot do the project uh, over, 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 overdo. overdo, so you guys get sick because of that. So what's the difference between, uh, um, I mean, how you feel about when you're doing it overdo and how do you, how do, you do it uh, softly and slowly? So uh, two words for yeah, project. Uh, you do it. Uh, how about uh, how the difference about the um, offer uh, the project you offer to it and the project you slowly do? For slowly, maybe I I the type of people who do project is slowly, but not very slowly because we need to think the the deadline. But it's okay to do overdoing, but not really over because no, limit. yeah just in the middle not do not really over not really slowly only that and something personally uh, overdoing our project like i said before can make you lose focus so you can submit the project late so take and the results it maybe cannot be how you expected it to be so taking it slowly can be very useful uh, because it can help you reduce the stress the the stress, the pressure, and can help you get the result that you want. Yeah, and maybe in every school, uh, 
they also do overdue and also slowly. Some students do overdue project uh, progress and some students do slowly. Uh, for, exa for example, me in previous school, uh, I also do overdue project until from from after Isha to until at 1 a.m. or 1 yeah, when I am, uh, I didn't sleep, so uh, and I get sick so long. So uh, about healthiness and also mental health, it also affect to our ourselves and also our academic uh, progress. In the future, uh, we will also feel that. So how about how about you? When the future is come, I mean your future. Will you do slowly or overdo it? Maybe like what I say, just in the mid, not not really slowly. On the middle. On the middle. Mm -hmm. So normal. I if when I want to slowly, I just want at the at the at the first day I just find some inspiration like traffic say, and after that at the almost from I uh, almost for the last day. I just do the project, but not really overdo it. So, don't overdo it. Yeah? Okay, so that's all from us. Thank you so much for your attention. And sorry for our mistake. Maybe there are mistakes from us, from our pronunciation or words. Thank you so much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam.